So every time I take this truck out, I've got to do a thorough uh, inspection over all of the steering servos that turn these 15 inch uh, diameter tires, both on the front and back, because it does have rear steer. You don't want to have your steering let loose on you in the middle of the trail. I find it interesting, a lot of people that see my videos don't consider that folks that have something like this also have full-size off-road machines. Well, for a laugh, I figured I'd line up some of my radio control hobby products so you could have a good laugh and kind of understand the scale of what's going on here. This is, uh, well, how many do I have here? Three, six, seven different models here all the way down from a 124 scale truck that I had that I switched over to a Suzuki Vinson ATV model I had with Doug McKenzie there. Uh, 1 18th size 4x4 bow tie Chevy. 1 10th scale large 1 10th scale truck with an 8th scale body on there called Overkill. Here is a hard body 1 6 scale, even though I think it's closer to 1 8 scale. They do get 1 6 scale figures on the inside. This is the 6 or 1 or Suzuki Samurai from Capo. There is a Traxxas X Max. Everybody's like, I love the X Max. I have an X Max too. I've used it for years. Here is the Primal RC Raminator. Well, it's not a Raminator, it was actually the Mega Mud Truck. Uh, I've done lots of conversions on it. These are 15 inch two stage snowblower tires on there, 15 inch diameter. And I put it beside my full size radio control skid steer just so you could kind of get an idea of how large this machine truly is. It, it's hard, like the camera does it no justice, right? You know. And yeah, this is radio controlled as well. Yeah, but if you can't drive it from the outside, does that make you a good well rounded operator? truck is not for sale. It's one of a kind. It is a primal RC truck, but I've modified it quite a bit. I'm having a good time, are you? Ah, don't tell me if you didn't have one, you'd ride it for a moment or two also. This truck weighs 100 pounds. Mostly due to the 20 pound winch I put on board. <laughs> Look out girls, you almost got run over. So some people think I converted over my very, very fast Raminator into a trail truck. And no, I've actually had two trucks the entire time. It's just this one, I wanted to make it into a more slower geared, you know, uh, more torque trail truck, which means I can take it out on the property here, right? And just rip it and have a good time, but also have nice control and be able to crawl along. These tires have literally no pressure in it. <laughs> Just enough to set the bead and then I let everything out. cement pipe I have in there. Look out, Riley. I'm watering the lawn. Let's just go ahead and get some traction with the back. There we go. Hmm. 
Or I could just use it as a handle. People would say, why would you put a big winch on there if you don't use it? Because I've done lots of these videos and people ask. And part of it has to do with the weight. It's a boat trailer winch that I put on there. I dehoused it. And so with the extra added 20 pounds, the suspension moves the way it should. And for being a one-fifth scale truck, having bigger tires, it's great to have the extra weight on there to kind of help the tires flex. And then the viewers kind of, you know, get a good idea of what the size of this vehicle is. We did such a good job for so many years trying to make the small vehicles look big that when we finally get a Goliath, everyone's like, look how tiny it is. <laughs> yeah.